Houston and thank you. The new Honda Proving Grounds, right? Here in Mojave Desert. That's it, yeah. So uh, not many people have um, come for a press or a consumer event here. So this is a kind of new, pretty cool facility. Yeah. Horsepower in this and you would say? 205 horsepower. 205, okay. And um, obviously we have the manual. <laughs> That's the only way to drive it, right? That's it. <laughs> so yeah, Civic SI is actually only available in uh, in, a, a car in car manual, car. yeah. So Javier, obviously you've done a lot of on-track stuff. We've, we've been in the bit, car. Yeah. We've been in, yeah, Not we've, enough. Never we've been enough. In the car. So we'll build ourselves up to it. We can do a couple of laps. You're going to have another session later on. Yeah. So we don't need to break the lap record on this first one necessarily. Absolutely but not, yeah. Same thing. Nice smooth inputs. This car, front wheel drive, remember, so less is more. Try and be as smooth as possible. We're only going to be using third and fourth gear all the way around. Okay. So as you guys say, don't try to impress me. You won't. Don't try to scare me. I'm already. Yeah, <laughs> I'm <right>? unimpressible. <laughs> and you're already scared. Occasionally. <laughs> Never scared. Uh, the van's going to go out for a quick. You obviously have already driven the car here on the track. What, what uh, have you? What can you tell us about it? Definitely Civic SI. It's a big, big step forward in the um, development of the, from the very base of the car, the chassis. Um, HPD and Honda believe that this is. Um, the most dynamic, dynamically interesting Civic that they've ever made. The uh, chassis rigidity has increased by 25%. Uh, haven't got an increase in horsepower, but we've got a fairly steep increase in um, in uh, torque. Yeah. You're only going to run the manual gearbox. I think that's pretty a good indicator of uh, who they're really aiming this car at, and who I think people are going to be very interested in. So it's a very, very fun car to drive, and I think uh, definitely a very, very reasonable priced car to drive. Yeah, that's the other thing, like the value for what you get with this. I mean, you're getting a race car pretty much illegal for the streets, but like just the way it's set up, I mean, obviously people can do a lot aftermarket, but yeah. the way it's set up out of the factory is pretty, pretty track ready. Yeah. It's it's not far off. You know, I believe the uh, Civic SI won this weekend up at Mosport, yeah. up near Toronto and Pirelli World Challenge. Um, it's a big, big racing head, um, heritage and pedigree with the Civic SI, and you can you can definitely feel it, see how this is kind of trickled down into the road car now and in the new SI. Excellent. We're waiting for our turn. They are giving a instructional lap in an Odyssey, which obviously is not as fast as this. <laughs> Aye, long wheelbase, nice and uh, <laughs> nice and um, nice and balanced in the Odyssey. We've done a few quick laps in Odyssey in the past. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good. Right then, Javier. Nice, easy. Here we go. Here we go. So we're doing one. Uh, recon yeah, do lap. one. Yeah, one recon lap. We'll talk it round, and then we'll start pushing on after that. So turn one. If you remember, really long radius. The apex is going to be pretty late, so you want to try and stay out a little bit wider to start with, and then start bringing it back to the inside. We can come up to fourth gear when you're ready. We're actually going to be using fourth gear for quite a lot of the circuit. So for the first half, we're going to be in fourth gear for the, for the vast majority of quarters. Bring the car back over to the left. Really fast right-hander. We're going to stay round the outside. Look for our blue cone. That's telling us to start turning a little bit more into our blue cone on the inside. That's it. And we're going to stay on the right-hand side of the road here, going over the hill. Just keep it dead straight, dead straight inside the white lines. We'll go on to the brakes gently in a straight line and third gear. Yeah, good. Come out of the brake pedal. Look for the yellow cone, blue cone. Sorry. That's it, remember sight and lap this one, Javier. I haven't got to go flat out just yet. Looking for the yellow cones on the right, keeping the car dead straight. We'll come off the gas pedal. We're braking in a straight line, staying in fourth gear here. Okay. That's it, it's a really, really long radius corner. If we go down to third, it's going to overslow the car a bit too much. Staying okay. in fourth, that's it. Over to the left. Here we're going to turn early. So turning right, we'll come off the gas pedal, aim at the blue cone on the brakes. Third gear. That's it, tricky one there. We've got to be turning and change gear. And then stay tight to the inside. Good. Try and stay at the right as much as possible. We'll go onto the brakes in a straight line. Come off the brakes, stay in third. Stay tight to the white line. That's it, plenty of torque. So we don't need second gear here. Gen lift off the gas, turn right, that's it. We're gonna brake again, brake, brake. Come off the brake, stay to the left-hand side. Gently on the brake, 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 come off the brake. Look to the inside. Follow the white line, look for the cone on the inside, that's it, late apex. And then looking for the blue cone again, we're going to brake gently out to the blue cone, all the way out wide, now come back to your left, start accelerating again, stay to the right hand side, keep the power on, that's it, keep the gas on, absolutely flat out, fourth gear, good, keep the power on, 
keep the power on, start braking in a straight line, staying in fourth, staying in oh, fourth gear there, yeah, always. fast corner. Staying a bit out wide, now we'll look for the yellow cone again. Blue cone, sorry. Keep the power on, power on, power on, power on, that's it, long corner, there we go. Over to your left hand side, another fast corner here. So we're gonna brake very gently, come off the brake, all the way around the outside. Look for the cone on the inside now. Power on now, power, good. Keep accelerating, keep going, keep going, keep going. Staying in the right hand lane, inside the white lines. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We'll come off the gas, on the brakes, third gear. Good, come off the brake pedal, turn in. Look for the cone, lay apex, that's it. Power on now, let the car run out wide. Aiming at our yellow cones up to fourth gear now. Fourth gear, that's it. We're gonna start braking in a straight line. Good, release the brake pedal, round the outside of the corner. A little bit early on the gas there. Now look for our yellow cone, blue cone. We changed the cone colors yesterday, yeah. so braking. Over to your right, look for the blue cone. We're gonna start braking in a straight line, as straight a line as possible, third gear. That's it, good, well done. Stay tight to the inside, a little bit early on the gas. Keep it to your right, that's good. Braking again, gently. Use the hill to slow us down. Follow the white line. Follow the white line, follow the white line. Good, keep following the white line. Power on, just lift off the gas, turn in. That's it, good. We're gonna brake gently. Brake, brake, brake. Over to your left. We're gonna brake gently once more, off the brake. Stay tight to the inside, late apex, look for the cone. Power on, power on, power on. That's it, all the way out wide. So out wide, brake, that's it. Now turn, turn, turn. Power on now, power, straighten the wheel if we can. Stay to the right hand side, keep the power on. That's it, keep the gas on. Absolutely flat out, keep the power on, have it. keep the power on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Braking gently, fourth gear, fourth gear, oh, okay, that's it. Gear. Coming out of the brake pedal, no brakes now. That's it, looking for the cone all the way around, all the way around, keep the power on now. Power, 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 let it run wide. Power, 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 good. Stay to the left hand side. We're gonna go on to the brakes gently. Come off the brake, let it run out wide. And then look for the cone on the inside. We can start to accelerate again. That's it, good. Stay in the right hand lane. Let's just move a little bit further to the left. Stay away from the white line. That's it, keep going, keep going, keep going. Now we're gonna brake. Good. Coming out of the brake pedal, turn left. Gently, be patient, wait, wait, wait. Now gas, 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 good. Over to your right hand side. Look at the yellow cones, up to fourth gear. Excellent. We're gonna start braking in a straight line. Come off the brake pedal, let it run around the outside. Wait, 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 not too early on the gas. Now start to accelerate. Look for the blue cone. That's it, good. Over to your left, Come, start coming right. That's keep going, keep going, now braking, now braking. Third gear, third gear. That's it, good. A little bit early on the gas there. Stay to the right hand side, power on. We're gonna go onto the brakes. Come out of the brakes, stay tight to the white line. That's good, gently, gently. Follow the white line. Back into your right, keep the power on. We're gonna brake gently again. Come out of the brakes, stay tight to the left. Brakes again, be patient, off the brake turn. Wait, 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 wait. Now on the gas, go, go, go. If you shift gears here, you lose a lot of time, you think? Or? Yeah, it's, a lot of it's momentum. Going yeah. down to second gear, you're just gonna pick up, uh, you're basically gonna slow the car down too oh, okay. much. Okay, that makes sense. That's it. Excellent stuff, well done Javier. We'll Great. start slowing down, nice steady cool down lap now, we'll make our way back to the pits. Yeah, they definitely, they're definitely using second gear there because there's so much banking, yeah. it's such a long radius corner, you're just gonna kind of over slow the car. You're better off trying to That's stay. That's the key, right? Like to enter the corner with uh, enough momentum and direction that you can speed up as fast as you can, Exactly, right? exactly. You want to try and keep the car on boost. So try and keep the turbo spun up, try and keep the momentum up, and try and anything with front wheel drive, you know, it's always the nature yeah. is that less is more. The more aggressive you are, the harder things become. You start overloading the front tires. Because exactly. you've got these two front tires that are trying to do two jobs, or well, three jobs, they're trying to brake, they're trying to steer, exactly. they're trying to get on the power. But even being a front wheel drive car, I mean, the engineers were talking about last night at dinner, how proud they are about how much they can compensate even being a front wheel drive car, like it has a like, great balance. Absolutely, I mean, it's, it's definitely, uh, considering 
you know, inherently in a front wheel drive car has this inherent understeer. It, uh, especially mid corner grip, I feel that it's uh, it, yeah. it's somewhat of an anomaly. It's pretty amazing. Up, yeah. yeah, a lot of that's got you know the limited slip diff that makes a big big difference. Limited slip differential makes a big big difference. Also heard that obviously it has some technologies from inherited from the Type bar. It's got a it's got a, few, a little bit of trickle down from Type R, yeah, for sure. That car is amazing. I've driven the ninth generation. I haven't driven the new one. The new one? No, I haven't had a chance. I haven't had a chance either. Hopefully, I'll get a chance at some point. I've heard some very very good things about it. Yeah, I'm sure everyone every, everyone over here is kind of. Uh, Anxious to do yeah, to do very, that. very anxious, right? This is not bad. I mean, for uh, we were just talking about the value. I mean, obviously, it's, this is not a Type bar. I think the Type bar has over 300 horsepower, yeah. but yeah, it's what you get with this car is really incredible for maybe like a third of the price. Yeah, you know, 205, 205 horsepower, you know, 270 odd pounds per feet of torque, and it's a car that's essentially $24,000. Yeah, it's um, it's a lot of bang for your buck. And like you say, there's, there's with Honda Civic, there's always a big community of people that modify their own cars. So it wouldn't take well, much to make it. Thank you very much. I hope we'll get you. a little better the next time. Well <laughs> Hopefully. <driven>. Good job. <laughs> thank you.